Coming back on tour here is returning to family. It's getting back to normal. It's a big change from living the short life of a pandemic and getting back to what feels natural. Bringing back Lizzie has been a very difficult challenge. There's been a lot of elements that sat for two years and had small to major damage or wear and tear because they aren't designed to sit around. There's some stuff that you don't realize until you build everything and then have to go in and do some repair work because there's unknown problems. So we came here in the summer um, and we started to assess all the costumes. So it was really going through every item of clothing, going through all of the makeup items to see what might not be usable, um, and just checking, checking, checking. So that was our big first hurdle. We would have about a thousand pieces in the show, and then there will be about another thousand, if not more, in stock. But it's, there's a lot. It's a lot of things to tick off, but we're nearly there now and we're making good progress. The thing I miss most about touring is being around so many people. We work with people in live theatre um, and we are just surrounded by people from different cultures. And it was also amazing to see how quickly we all just slotted back into our roles. It was as if we'd never been missing. So on Luzio we have some really unique elements. We have treadmills that are run on by artists, but they're not just a standard treadmill. They are very large, they are acrobatic, they have built-in trampolines, and they are battery powered and wireless controlled. So our water system here on Luzia is quite a complex one. We have this tank starting behind me, it's about 3,000 liters, pumps out to our pool, which is about 5,000 liters out on stage. That's constantly cycling, it's up at 39 degrees Celsius. We send a whole stream of water all the way up into the grid, into our rain curtain. It sits there, 174 valves across, open and close as fast as 200 times a second. I would say what makes the Luzia costume so unique is um, the background story for the show. Every Cirque du Soleil show is very different. But our one is very based from the Mexican culture, um, mixing in with the dreams idea and the surrealism that gets mixed in with it. So I think they kind of stand out with that. We have got a lot of animals in this show, so we've got a lot of prop costumes, which is quite a different thing to work with in a costume department. We're gonna get everything soaking wet on a daily basis, and we've gotta work with like how to get everything dry on a two-show day, how do we get it all switched over. Cirque du Soleil, we hide very well, successfully, the hidden layers of production. So with much blood, sweat, and tears, we slowly built every layer of every person back up again, from the technician to the artist. There's always a, a strong collaboration between artistic and technical on a show like Luzia. There always has been, there always will be, but there's even more so as we're coming back from this pandemic and both artistic and technical are getting over challenges, having to work together, having to achieve more than we ever have, and having to do it with one another's help. We can't be working against each other, we can't be looking out for our own interests. And now we are putting the show back together. We just finished our first run through of half of the show and we should be ready to run the show and then run it and run it and run it. I couldn't be more excited to bring a show back in front of an audience and it's what we do, it's what we live and breathe in our industry. For us there's a lifeblood of being in front of an audience and bringing the beauty of a show like this to people.